All right, guys, we've got some new information and details on Persona 3 Reload, Atlas's latest remake of the classic Persona 3 JRPG of the Persona series. And I have so much stuff that I want to talk about when it comes to new details and some other things that are really good, but also maybe a bit concerning with this title as we get closer to the February 2nd release date. But before we get into that, what's good, everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new and click that notification bell to get the latest RPG news right here as soon as it goes live. So let's go ahead and jump into what's going on with Persona 3 Reload. There was a bunch of final previews from a round of the major media sites. So I shifted through all of that and into some interviews as well. And I wanted to go over some of the new additions and what makes Persona 3 Reload a really good remake of the original game, despite a few issues here or there. Now, you guys all know about the Tower of Tartarus, but if you don't know, that's essentially the mementos for Persona 3. You go through there, you can grind, level up, there's a bunch of dungeons and enemies and different things to fight. That's pretty much their own version of that. And in the original game, it's got a little bit of a mixed reputation. It can get incredibly grindy, really repetitive, and kind of boring at times. And you supplement that with all of the different social elements and aspects of the game. But in Persona 3 Reload, that has been completely reworked at this point. There are big changes, obviously, visually to it, so it's not going to be as as monotonous or repetitive but then there's also more of a creepy vibe to it the reworking really was a huge priority according to the developers there's a lot more things that's going to hold your attention there for example you can gather items you can open up chests with twilight fragments that you need to gather from in tartarus and out so there's going to be a lot more things for you to do it's going to be more visually appealing it's going to just be a better experience overall which is very important because playing through persona 3 portable playing through persona 3 the original and fes yeah tartarus was a little bit um interesting at times especially once you get up there in hours now let's talk about this because it really does improve the tempo the pacing everything about tartarus has been reworked and i think that this for some people if you didn't get into persona 3 or if you had problems with the game beforehand and that aspect this might be the version to play or if you're just wanting to get into persona for the first time persona 3 could be a very good starting off point for those who have never played a persona game and really what tartarus does it does a great job according to the previews of recreating the themes of death and what happens in the game now another thing that i really like that i read in the previews is that switching personas is now more seamless and feels more modern in combat it has a nice slick feel to it because i think that when you're modernizing or updating a game quality of life features are going to be at the top of the list to make things more smooth to make things a bit more playable and persona 3 reload has all of that now you combine those awesome quality of life features with a bunch of new animations and different things to do and you get yourself a phenomenal remake here now the all-out attacks which have been a staple in the persona series for a long time that at this point those have been updated with new animations finishing screens and catchphrases as well so whoever your favorite characters are once you get that big nice all-out finishing screen you're gonna get that cool catchphrase as well now another big change here that i actually like is the seize armband that is not equipable for access to special new attacks now they're called theurgy but it's very similar to the showtime attacks in persona 5 royal that was added in you need to have certain conditions to do and then you can activate them so it just depends it's going to take some time for some characters other characters will be easier but then you'll get a nice special attack here and that can really turn the tides in certain battles so i do like that they're adding in new combat and new additional features on top of what we already know and love about the persona press turn system now another major change here which is probably going to make this like i stated before the best place to start out when it comes to persona 3 is that you can actually move around the streets and classrooms it's no longer just kind of hovering around and looking and reading at certain points that you want to go to you have full 3d control you can walk around talk to people it just has way better exploration it feels more immersive it looks more immersive from what i'm seeing here and it feels far more like an open game which is definitely good for a remake you don't want it to have the exact same 
feeling, especially when you're already changing a number of quality of life things and making it better. And if you can improve parts of the game that were not necessarily the best, like Tartarus at times and going through it, I think that it makes for a much better experience. More locations that you can use in your free time, like the kitchen, rooftop, bookshelf, movies, all this stuff can improve your character traits, which are really important when it comes to the social links of the game, which are all still intact, but streamlined just a tad bit. But those are all going to be important for certain endings and stuff that I don't want to get into. But yes, all the social link stuff, all of that is intact, but there's even more ways to access it, which which is really good plus there's the computer as well in the hall that you can use which you can do to increase your stats as well so very good it adds far more personality it adds a bit more zest and vibrance to the game and i think that it feels more immersive just overall to have all of those features built in at this point and to have it to where you have the full control of it it really feels like something different especially if you've played many of the previous iterations like myself i played the original bag on the ps2 i played the re-release fes i played portable so i've already played it a number of times so seeing all of these things here is absolutely something that gets me excited to get into it so i think that this really makes for an intense and high quality remake of the game that's really going to stand out even if you've played previous ones i think this one could definitely be something to get excited for and look forward to so here are my big key takeaways why i'm really excited about this obviously the graphics overhaul is very good persona 3 is a ps2 game slash psp game we've been looking at those visuals from the ps2 and psp for decades now at this point so it's good that they actually overhauled it it looks a lot better it's an unreal engine 4 it's just nice to see that i do love the better quality sound effects the quality of life features playability music all of these things create a very important key because remember guys this is a long rpg you might spend a hundred hours plus in here if the sound quality if the quality of life features if the music the visuals if those aren't appealing and up to par you're gonna get really tired and might drop it that's what some people did when it came to persona 3 or even persona 3 portable with some of the things so having all of that up to a certain level in terms of today's modern taste for games maybe trying to get into the franchise it's so important it's far more important than people give it credit for but persona is known for its high quality music sound effects and those things kind of surrounding the game itself so this is no exception the game does seem very good in all of those aspects combat is once again just as good as it's ever been i like the fact that they're adding in different things here the combat system already kind of takes care of itself the press turn system for those who don't know when it comes to smt games persona games you hit an enemy with the weakness they're weak you get another attack on top of that you knock everybody down you get an all-out big attack that system clears man it is so good and you can just kind of plug and play in these different types of systems that they use but it's the little things that surround it that make it unique or different so persona versus shin megami tensei versus soul hackers they all have little unique things surrounding it that some people might like more when it comes to smt or when it comes to persona or when it comes to how they handle the demons and how you actually use them in your party and i think that persona 3 has one of the best in my opinion especially with this remake has one of the best when it comes to dealing with all the other things surrounding the combat system with these new additions as well so that is phenomenal now the major overhaul of tartarus is just huge like it can't really be understated i know i've mentioned it a number of times but it's very important here i think that they did a great job in terms of adding the items and adding the different stuff that you can collect just gives it more variety and overall the look of it just isn't so bland i was kind of blown away i was like okay they really added far more designs and creepiness to this to get a better feel for it so when i'm going through an hour 50 or hour 60 i'm not as visually tired of it as before plus there's rewards in there for me as well outside of just grinding through so very good to kind of get their royal spin on mementos with tartarus here in persona 3 reload so i do love that now there are a few things that i find a little bit of a bummer when it comes to this just some of the other things there's lots of day one dlc and it also has a 70 dollar price tag which is above 
the normal $60 that we usually paid for Persona games in the past, at least with the PlayStation 4 and all of that. So it now is $70 and it has day one DLC. Of course, there's deluxe editions and other things like that. But it would have been nice if they did 64, especially if they're going to do day one DLC. But I understand this is kind of how it is with gaming at this point. And even for that $70 price tag, you do get a lot of game with it. It's not like there isn't enough content in there to justify the $70 price tag. Now, the graphics are good. Don't get me wrong. They're very good. But definitely, it could have been better. You can tell this is a little bit of a PlayStation 4 type of game. And it was basically ported to PS5 and Xbox Series. But I'm not really too tight when it comes to the graphics in the game. I still feel that it has a phenomenal look to it. Now, there's also content missing from previous releases of Persona 3. So, for example, Persona 3 Portable with the female campaign. All of that is missing. It would have been nice if this is the true absolute definitive version no questions asked of persona 3 but it's kind of not because if you wanted to get maybe a little bit more of an experience right persona 3 portable has some things now this game has a bunch of things that are definitely better than every single release of persona 3 and i feel based off of these changes it's going to be the best release of persona 3 but at the same time there still is that content that's just kind of floating out there maybe they do some extra dlc or persona 3 reload royal edition of there or golden edition of it which is very possible that they do guys i would not put it past atlas it would have just been nice if they could have included that in there with this remake but overall i'm happy with what they have obviously not having a nintendo switch version for the switch portable players out there is a bit of a bummer considering this is an unreal engine 4 type of game but maybe it was moved over to the next generation nintendo switch i have a feeling because based off of how persona 3 persona 4 and persona 5 did release on the standard switch they probably made the decision hey if it's launched in 2024 we're just going to put it on that system and have it be the de facto major rpg probably at launch or near launch for that next system or the big persona game as well for the next generation switch so if so if it does come there i'm content with that but even if it doesn't hey it's their call but yes obviously persona 5 royal sold incredibly well on the nintendo switch so hopefully those switch players that do like to play portable standard with the switching dock back and forth and all that and however shape the next gen switch takes which i do think based off the rumors it's going to be another hybrid it's going to be another evolution of the nintendo switch i think that would be cool for players out there so Overall, Persona 3 Reload is looking phenomenal. There's great things that they've done in addition to just really sprucing up the overall package that you get. I think that Tartarus being completely rehauled for the most part is phenomenal. Atlas did say that this remake was happening because of the surveys that they did. There used to be a running joke in the Persona community that all of these surveys that they're doing actually gets us nothing, but it seems like that is not the case because people voted for Persona 3 and we're getting it now at this point. Having stuff like the C's armband, the new additions to the combat system, the quality of life features, switching personas, all of these things just create a much better and fine-tuned experience that I'm really excited to kind of go back into when it comes to the game. It's coming out February 2nd, so not too much longer as of the time that I'm recording this video. And of course, if there's anything else that I want to talk about with this game, I'm definitely going to have updates on it as we get closer and closer to the launch. February is a packed month. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink right before it. Obviously, we have this game as well, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Plus, there is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So there's a lot to cover in uh, the coming weeks when it comes to gaming and, of course, RPGs. So what do you guys think about Persona 3 Reload and all the different additions and new things added in? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell and check out my other Nintendo Switch, RPG news, and more right here on screen. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.